NASCOM as well, saying that it is also seeking an urgent meeting of industry representatives with the state authorities to discuss uh, the concerns because they seem to be disappointed with Karnataka bill that seeks reservations for locals. Yes, Ankit. Association for all of the IT companies, NASCOM is very, very significant in Karnataka's terms. So they say NASCOM statement on this bill, NASCOM and its members disappointed and expressed deep concern regarding the passage of so-and-so bill. It says the tech sector, co sector contributes 25% of the state's GDP, houses a quarter of the country's digital talent, over 11,000 startups and 30% of the total GCC. So this is what it impacts. Now it says restrictions could force companies to relocate as skilled uh, local talent becomes scarce. And then in today's highly competitive landscape, knowledge-led businesses will locate where talent is as attracting uh, skilled workers is crucial for success. Globally, there is a huge shortage for skilled talent and Karnataka, despite the large pool, is no exception. For states to become a key technology hub, a dual strategy is key magnet for best talent worldwide and focused investment in building a strong talent pool within the state through formal and vocational channels. Now it comes to this important part. The technology sector has been crucial to Karnataka's economic and social development with Bengaluru known globally as India's Silicon Valley. The technology sector contributes almost 25% of the state's GDP and has played a key role in enabling higher growth for the state, higher per capita income than the national average. With over a quarter of India's digital talent, the state houses over 30% of the total GCCs and around 11,000 startups. It is deeply disturbing to see this kind of bill which will not only hamper the growth of the industry, impact jobs and the global brand of the state. NASCOM members are seriously concerned about the provisions of this bill and urge the state government to withdraw the bill. The bill's provisions threaten to reverse this progress, drive away companies and stifle startups, especially when more global firms are looking to invest in the state. At the same time, the restrictions could force companies to relocate as local skilled talent becomes scarce. NASCOM is seeking an urgent meeting for industry representatives with state authorities to discuss the concerns and prevent the state's progress from being derailed. All of the IT companies okay. are part of NASCOM. All of the IT employees are part of NASCOM a lot of the time as well. That's why this is so important. All right, Ankit, thank you for that. We also have Deepak right now. Deepak, NASCOM has also spoken. It says and calls it deeply disturbing to see that this kind of bill which not only hamper the growth of the industry but will also impact jobs and the global brand for the state as far as the IT capital is concerned. Uh, yes. Now, uh, we see, of course, uh, this body, uh, which is an association of, uh, uh, you know, various uh, tech industries, top industries in uh, the country, even in Bengaluru, coming and saying that they're expressing disappointment over this. And they are uh, hoping that the state government rethinks and uh, withdraws the bill as well. Uh, now, this is still a, a draft. It, there's still a lot of thinking to do. Uh, there were, of course, plans now to introduce it in the assembly, whether they'll actually go ahead and do it. When we heard the Labour Minister, he says uh, that while he's open to suggestions uh, being made by uh, top uh, industrialists, uh, you know, uh, owners of uh, tech cult companies and giants. Uh, but he says that this is something that seems like a fair deal to him is what uh, he feels. And now, of course, as far as uh, the industries and the IT uh, department also needs to come into picture here. So all of them really, really need to think whether this is the right way forward while they are talking about, uh, you know, improving, uh, you know, the, the tech situation in, uh, uh, you know, Bengaluru, making it much bigger than in, in it already is, whether this is going to be detrimental and whether, more importantly, it's a regret Aggressive step, uh, you know, in that stride is a big question mark that has now come up with various reactions that we've heard, not just one. As far as politics over it is concerned, we've seen, of course, the BJP for now remain quite mum. Whether now with the top uh, industrialists and, you know, IT companies and associations like NASCOM coming together and making these sort of statements, whether BJP as well will, uh, you know, uh, jump onto that wagon is something that remains to be seen. Right, because um, NASCOM had further said that uh, when it comes to today's highly competitive landscape, knowledge-led businesses will locate where talent is attracting skilled workers, uh, which is crucial for success. So merit, not when it comes to locals, is something that it seems to be advocating for. Well, now more importantly, we should understand when you put a 50% or a 75% uh, compulsion on an organization now, while they're looking out for skilled employees now at, at one particular point in time, if they're not able 
able to really get in one particular stream 50% uh, reservation or people from Karnataka itself, then uh, the operations of that company itself could be hampered. These are some of the concerns that they have. While the Labour Minister, of course, says that the majority of the people working in these IT companies are already from Karnataka, so it should not be a big challenge for them to really accommodate 50%. Now, it's of course a prerogative of these companies as to what they believe in, which is a talent that could actually provide uh, them uh, the kind of efficiency that they believe in. And if uh, they believe that, you know, 50% uh, or more people can provide that efficiency from Karnataka, they are uh, somebody who, of course, go ahead and hire it. But putting in a clause which mandates it uh, uh, poses, of course, its own sets of challenges. Now, whether, you know, the state will once again reconsider this, have deliberations, this is something that remains to be seen in the next coming days. Right. So with wider consultations, of course, if the state government and its minister saying, Deepak, that they are open for that, uh, it is still a draft and it is likely to be tabled very soon. Are we looking for certain changes with the kind of backlash that the government has been facing over this bill? Very likely, uh, because uh, we've seen the kind of responses that have come in uh, from uh, various uh, quarters. Uh, right now, there's going to be, of course, uh, some thinking that will be done, brainstorming that will be done, considering even that C and D category aspect that uh, the Chief Minister had tweeted has been deleted. There's hmm. definitely room for consideration and uh, um, you know deliberation at this point in time, and right. we could see that happening in the next few days. All right, Deepa, keep an eye out on the reactions as well coming in, because the government says they are open for wider consultations. However, there has been a lot of backlash, especially when it comes to industrialists uh, that have been voicing their concern over this bill. Let's in the meantime shift focus. We also talk about how the Karnataka ministers have been responding to this raging debate over this new bill. Speaking to Times Now, the state uh, labor minister Santosh Lad has said that the government respects the opinion of the corporate bigwigs but doesn't have the state enough skill to provide 50% staff considering the quality of educational institutions, etc. in the state. Let's listen in to this conversation. Right now, uh, you know, uh, the, the decision that has been, of course, taken by the Karnataka government to introduce this bill, uh, uh, you know, reservation for Kanadigas or uh, localites, give us a little bit of clarity as to what this bill really envisages. If we are asking not about 70 percent into the, you know, the, what they call it as a management and non-management. So this is a fair, I think it's a deal for both and especially the local which get more opportunity. And in the longer run, the lot of traveling has been done. I've gone personally, I've visited people. I don't want to comment, but the reports what I've got, even the lower vertical also, there are not many local people preferred. Mm -hmm. And they always talk about merit. So I feel Karnataka has got a lot of potential in merit here. The reason is because when you come to education side, we are number one. Mm -hmm. Might be in engineering or medical or number of colleges, ITI, diploma, mm -hmm. might be even the international school here, the private sector. Everything is available here. So I still don't understand uh, why do they feel that they do, there is no merit in Karnataka, number one. Mm. So in the management level also, we are giving them the 50% opportunity there and 50% we are asking them so what to What are the kind of roles sir, when you talk about management? They have to come them, see, because it's a very broader. They have to address what is management and not management. Whichever they feel it is management, we are asking 50%. Okay. Whichever they feel it is not non-management, non we are asking 70%. So it's okay. a fair deal. I don't think so. Uh, there is anything wrong by this, the industry will get hampered. Some, or, some corporate, uh, you know, big wigs have, uh, you know, expressed their apprehensions. Uh, probably not, some of them, of course, say that it's probably unwarranted. Some of them say that it's good, but they're also saying there are certain caveats that should come in. You know, you have the likes of Mohan Das Pai who've commented on it, Kiran Mazumdar Shaw and many others. No, I respect them because, I you know, they have been always this industry and they are pointers here and, you know, they have been one of the most successful entrepreneurs in the state and as well as this country. I respect them. So ultimately, if there are any suggestions or with this, if they are able to fail, really it's going to hamper their business, we can always look, look into it. But as of now, this according to me, with best of my knowledge and wisdom, whatever borrowed wisdom I have got by my experience, I feel this is a fair deal bill. Um, let's see if they have got any apprehensions, they can always give in writing to us. We'll look into that. Last question. So, so now on one hand, uh, you have the pro Canada groups and the localites who will of course be elated by this particular move. They'll welcome what the state government is doing. On the other, there are some people who are saying whether this builds unnecessary pressure, uh, whether you know, uh, IT capital like Bengaluru, whether such rules will, you know, be a regressive one. This is something that's being speculated. Steve, you, you have to speak globally, right? What is Trump speaking about? Why are you not speaking about Trump when Trump says that everybody, every citizen has to go out? He said Indians are taking the jobs. So likewise, there's a pressure everywhere, right? My, my, my concern is... I always feel there's a lot of potential here. That, that is uh, talking about a separate country when Trump is saying. That but is here we are talking about just one state I, I, in within the country. I know. I, I said when that, what is he talking about? 
So we are a, we are the federal structure. So I am talking about my state. In my state, why do you feel there is no potential? Why do you feel there is no talent here? If there is any justification to it, why you feel there is no number of colleges are less here? In the whole of country, number of colleges, engineering colleges, medical, ITI, nursing, you name every bit of it, even international schools are here, one of the best international schools are here. Why do you feel there is no talent here? Okay. So lastly, just for clarity, the Chief Minister's office also had put out a post talking about C&D category and 100% reservation there. Uh, if you could no, throw I've, some more light. I have given the clarification to them. Okay. So that's not something that will be a part of this bill? Yes, sir.